White-tailed deer are probably one of the most iconic big game species in North America and certainly in Texas. It's uh, part and parcel to our uh, culture, whether you're a person that likes to watch deer in your backyard or the rancher and the hunter out there on the rural landscape that enjoy white-tailed deer. They, they get that name from the, the big white underside of that tail. And if you're out in the field and you see deer running off and, and you spooked them, the first thing you'll see is that big white tail running off in, in the distance. Populations uh, were as low as about 230,000 in the early 1930s when we started estimating populations. But today, we have an estimated 5.3 million white-tailed deer in Texas. Across the state, it brings in about $1.2 billion a year, and it's extremely important for some of these small towns. The license dollars help support and fund uh, Texas Parks and Wildlife, and that goes back uh, directly into wildlife management and wildlife conservation through the state. Some other unique characteristics, deer snort, they wheeze and grunt, um, not only to warn of threats or danger, but just c communicate with other deer. Um, and you especially see that during the, the times of rut. We have antler restriction regulations in 117 counties, and the primary purpose of antler restrictions is not for trophy management, but to improve the age structure uh, of that deer herd. Prior to the antler restrictions, 70 to 80 percent of the harvest was one and two year old bucks. Very few made it to an older age class to five, six, seven years old. But today, with those antler restrictions in place, we're seeing 60 to 80 percent of that harvest are mature bucks or bucks over three and a half years of age. And so that ant uh, antler restriction regulation has been successful at shifting the harvest pressure from young deer to, to older age class deer and improving the overall age structure. Um, it's uh, a benefit to a healthy herd and, and the hunters out there. The 2019 season ex is expected to be a, a really good year in terms of antler quality and, uh, and body condition for white-tailed deer. It's been a little dry, a little warm uh, this uh, summer and, and early fall, but the weather's cooling off and deer hunters should uh, expect a really good season starting out.